Hey there. Um, I'm going to show you how to put on a wire string on a Celtic harp. doesn't really matter what model of Celtic harp you have or what harp maker. They're all pretty much the same. So the first thing we want to do is, um, and, and this is a wire harp, a wire string, which is going to be put on slightly different than the nylon strings. And they're a little more difficult and easier to break if you don't do it properly. So the first thing we need um, are our tools. Where did I put my tools? I'll be right back. So you're going to need needle nose pliers and a pair of wire cutters. The first thing you're going to do is come down here and you'll see they usually break up at the top. So rather than trying to pull this all the way through, we're going to cut it off down here. And you want to hold on to this end both sides like this as you cut it so that neither side goes flinging wildly about. Okay. And then we need to pull this out from the back of the harp. Now, depending on this how the strings are made, uh, you're going to find it. Let's see. Let's just make sure we've got the right one. Yep, there it is moving around. Now, this one is pretty s stuck in there. I can't just pull it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pliers here, my uh, wire cutters, I mean, grab onto it. Again, I'm going to look in the front and make sure I've got the right one. So, yeah, that's the right one. And just gently hold on to it and pull. Now, this one's being kind of sticky. So what I do sometimes if they really don't want to come out is you might want to just kind of sit down behind it. Hold on to it with your feet so it doesn't <laughs> go flinging forward. Pull. Okay, if it's really stuck. That's the easy way. You just want to make sure you don't cramp this down so tight that you cut this off, otherwise you're going to be in deep doo-doo. <laughs> now, what we use these for is, and this has already been taken off, but the, the wires around here is going to be wrapped around, so you need a pair of needle nose pliers to get that uh, wrapping off of here. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our tuning key and we're going to put it on the pin, and I want that hole, if you can see, to be straight up and down. Okay. If you have a harp that has threaded pins, which would be any of the dust, uh, dusty strings harps, except for ones that are um, uh, the older models, but uh, pretty much all the dusty strings have threaded pins. So what you're going to do is you're going to unwind the pin one, two, three full turns if your harp has threaded pins. If you're not sure, ask the person, uh, ask the harp maker. Um, if it doesn't have threaded pins, what you're going to do is you want to make sure it's seated properly. So you're going to, if it's kind of loose, which this one is a little bit, I'm going to take this hand for, um, for a little pressure, and now I'm going to push and twist to make sure that pin is seated in there properly. Because if it isn't seated in properly, and again, this is only for tapered pins, not threaded pins. Um, threaded pins, again, you want to unwind three full turns. Tapered pins, we're going to make sure it's seated properly. Because if it's not, it's going to be loose and it's going to unwind on us. Okay, so there's the prep. You want to make sure you have the proper string. And the best way to do that, hopefully you have a string chart for your harp. And string charts are usually, the, uh, the strings are numbered one through however many strings you have. String number one is going to be this highest string up here. So this happens to be string one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-eight. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 28, okay, on a 30 string harp. Um, we could go backwards too, but anyway, so, uh, you, so we need string number 28C, and this happens to be a triplet R30 model. You need to know all that information when ordering your strings to make sure you get the right string. Um, especially on these wound strings, if you put the improper string on, you can damage the harp. And uh, at, the, at the worst, at the very least, it's not going to sound right. So, we have the right string. This is a wire one, so we're going to very gently unwrap it, and it starts to spring open, so you kind of want to hold on to it so it doesn't fly open and uh, scratch you because the wires can be very pokey and then the wires already come with the end terminated these strings are wound by triplet 
and we're just going to go into the back and th through the hole. We'll find that hole in the back. Poke it through. Now, with the wire strings, you don't want to just start poking it through and let it go on its own because the wire can scratch the harp and yourself and anything else that happens to be hanging around nearby, including pets. So we're going to poke it through. I'm going to grab it with this hand. And now with my other hand, I'm going to take hold of the other end as I pull it through. Come over this side so that they can see as I pull it through. You want to keep hold of this and keep hold of each end. So that way things don't fly around and scratch and damage. Okay. Now what we're going to do, remember I said you want that hole in the, in the pin facing toward the ceiling. And this is why. So we're going to thread it up. So if you look at the others, you see that the string is on that side of the, it's called a bridge pin. This is your bridge pin here. And so it's going to come up through the bottom hole. Now, on most harps, this hole is actually going to be over here. Um, but on, this, on the triplets, especially the older models, they're in. So don't let that throw you if your hole is over here. That's OK. Um, it's not going to matter where you're, which side uh, the hole is on the pin uh, as far as this process goes. So normally what we would do, um, with the triplet strings, I can only bring this up so far. Okay, but normally what you would do uh, with if you could bring the string up all the way so that it's taut, you would do that, and then you're going to take about uh, about an inch and a half above the top of the pin here, and you're going to cut off everything above that. So we've got about an inch and a half, or it could be uh, about three fingers worth, like that. It's it's not uh, baking, so you don't have to be exactly precise. Okay, I'll put this down. And you just want to lay this somewhere where you're not going to end up getting eaten by your uh, vacuum cleaner. Uh -huh. And now what we're going to do is we're going to m hold this down so just the very tip is peeking up through. Because if you go too far down when we start to whine, it's going to slip out. If you have too, too far up, it's going to scratch things as you, as you wind it up but we want it to just peek through just a little bit like that. We're going to put our key on the other side, and I'm going to start to gently wind. And as I do so, I'm going to guide my wire. Now, this does matter which side your hole is on. Because the hole is against the neck, we're going to wind out this way. Most, most harps have the hole out here, so we would wind in toward the neck. Okay, but because this one is to, uh, on the inside we're going to have to wind inside to the outside and you're just going to gently bring it up okay now once we have the string taut you want to start listening and I usually what I usually do is a string below it just very very gently because if you try to bring these wires up too quickly they will break on you so this this string below it I don't want to use the one above it because it's going to be higher than this one and if you over tune it it can break so if I if I listen to the string that's lower and just bring it up to that pitch there's no risk of overtuning it. And by this point now, you could put your tu uh, electronic tuner on here once you get it tight enough where it's not all groggy and funky sounding. <laughs> oh. if that makes any sense at all. take bring it up to pitch now one other thing to be aware of is as you're tuning it up this pin may start to wiggle its way back that way a little bit and become loose if it does that you're going to want to just loosen it just a little bit and again take this hand here for and you're just going to push it in gently twisting back and forth but you want to make sure this is not up to pitch when you do that because as you twist back and forth you see the string tightens and loosens if it's up to pitch you're going to again risk breaking it so now 
counts at the same pitch as the B below it. And you can either take your electronic tuner, or if you have perfect pitch, you can, you'll know where to go. And if you don't, if you have relative pitch, you can... And did you just hear it slip? That's because the wire is stretching, so that will happen. It doesn't take the wire strings as long to uh, hold their pitch as the nylons because they don't stretch as much. <laughs> and, that's, and so that's that's the string stretching. Actually, that's not the string stretching. The way that this particular string is wound is, if you notice, this right here is a little fatter than the rest of it. And so what's happening is the tension is we're we're um, bringing it up to pitch. The tension is causing this to pull into the hole, and that's why it was hard to get out. Okay, so not all uh, harp strings are uh, wound like this, but these just happen to be that way. So that's actually what's happening right now. So not to worry. Sometimes when they're wound like this, they'll make a, a cracking sound. Don't worry. That's just what it sounds like as it's pulling up through the hole. So um, there you go.